Yahoo News. Together now with ABC News. It's time to see the whole picture. Hello to our fans online. I'm Diana Perez. And I'm John Muller with the top stories on this TGI Friday, June 14th. Dozens of people have been hurt after the outdoor deck of a waterfront bar in Miami collapsed. About 100 fans were watching the NBA Finals on a TV outside that bar. Seconds later, they went tumbling into the shallow waters of Biscayne Bay below. Divers quickly went in and they pulled everyone to safety. Several victims have serious injuries. A powerful weather system which pounded the Midwest brought damaging winds and tornadoes to the East Coast. The Mid-Atlantic region is especially hard hit. In Richmond, Virginia, a four-year-old boy died after being crushed by a falling tree in a park. And earlier in the day, lightning may have sparked a fire that killed a western Pennsylvania man. Hillary Clinton, Clinton that is, turning her attention to a nonprofit world as speculation grows about another run for the White House. She appeared at an annual conference for the foundation started by her husband, former President Bill Clinton, and she announced that her new role in the organization will focus on career opportunities for young women. The former Secretary of State says she will apply lessons she's learned from her world travels to build new partnerships for the foundation. And as we mentioned, Miami's NBA Finals victory against San Antonio earlier, there was a great moment right before tip-off. Take a listen. Once again, 11-year-old mariachi singer Sebastian De La Cruz there belting out the national anthem. His appearance before Game 3 sparked a barrage of racist tweets. We told you about that yesterday. Well, Spurs coach Greg Popovich called those tweeters idiots. Mm -hmm. Popovich and Miami's coach congratulated Sebastian at midcourt, and that earned him a rousing ovation from the sellout crowd. Although I think it's not the congratulations that earned him the standing ovation. It's his singing. Yeah, great singer, and what a tough kid to come right back and do it again. In the face of adversity, always. I love, I love it. And, that. And, and, and hats off to the Spurs. It's such an in-your-face to all those people who said nasty things. Exactly. And there weren't so many. Most of them, most of the people most out there. Most of the there, people were praising him, it. and he's going to get a lot more praise now. Yeah, no doubt about it. All right, good, get more news anytime. You can do that at abcnews.com. I'm John Muller. And I'm Diana Perez. Thanks for watching. This is World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it. Americans choose ABC News to see the whole picture.